I guess the way around that is just to make both games. The Lady Bucks got it done earlier. Second free throw was in. And it's 17-6. Well, I guess the earlier we start, the uh, earlier I get home. Levi O'Brien had the defender on their feet. Three-pointer, Ty Buckman nails one. Ty Buckman for Dawson on the uh, three-pointer. Other side, the other number one, Garrett Bader, shot no. Ball out of bounds, and it'll be DCC. Kermillard checks in for Dawson. On the media timeout, again, we thank our game day sponsors. Shout out to Cameron, Colin, and Clara Coriel. For further, my nephews and niece, for those that may not know, maybe watching from Bismarck, who knows? Missed shot there. And Bismarck pushes it up. Bader, right corner, wide open. Hey, look at those shoes. All, a couple of them have those all colored shoes. Ball in the back, up and in. As uh, I want to get a correct pronunciation, El Miragi gets the uh, shot there. And it's 20 to 18. Well, they gave some shirts away. Lots of uh, raffle giveaways. And we got the uh, DCHS pep band. Playing a little bit here in between. Appreciate that. Justin Ozzie back in for Dawson. He's already got like 13 of the 20 for Dawson. 20 to 8. Inbound Levi O'Brien. I understand his folks are here, so welcome to the Gate City, the O'Briens from Colorado, Levi. Or Littleton, Colorado. Millard puts one down. The hands went up. The three in the corner for Millar. Right in front of the uh, Buccaneer Crazy. 23-8. 11-11 to go all the way up court. Inside. Whistle. And we'll have free throws. Same guy back to the line. Elmer Gravi. And the foul will go on who? I think that was, yeah, it may be Demetri at Kendall, his third. Couple of uh, notes here. Seth Amateur hasn't played too many minutes in early action. Checking in now, number 24, is Kendall Chamberlain. He had a nice game yesterday. At the line, see if you can make the second one. Does just that. 23 9 now, 11 06 ago. You're in the uh, opening half. Buckman, Kale doing some uh, screens. Ooh, step. He didn't step on the out of bounds line. The ball goes loose. And he picks it up from the uh, line. And referee says, oh, no, no, wait a second here. That's uh, Bismarck basketball. So Bismarck will inbound right in front of head coach Kevin Rice. And here they come. Proctor, Alec Proctor. Up court, thought about it. Now they go, oh, ball is kicked. That strand on the offense. Had a foot of Dawson. And Bismarck Lindbaum, not a bad crowd. Out to what we saw last night. Still a lot of time. Not as much as you would think. We're already halfway through the uh, first half here. Good defense. Millar takes it away with some help up court. Defense. Millar takes it away with some help up court. Millar goes up and in. 25-9. Chamberlain and Justin in the backcourt trying to take it away. Thus far, didn't quite get it. Raymond Brown drives in. His shot off balance, no good. And Levi O'Brien accidentally put a uh, little bit of a hurt. That was on O'Brien, his first. His defender went down. 
thought it was the arm or a fist or what. But you can hear him hit the floor. Inbound coming, 10-15 to go. Oh, look at that. No look pass in. Honor Gravy. And it's 25-11. Now we're halfway through the men's game. Women win earlier. Chamberlain has it. Millar, Justin moving around. Levi O'Brien, catch. Skip pass over. Chamberlain, he drives baseline. Bounces one over. Three-pointer. Ozzy. Justin. Ah, you know, he does a little bit of celebrating there. He knows he's having a good game. 28-11, up court. Bader. Bader puts it up, puts it in. Points in the paint. And we're on the other side. Chamberlain. Down low, Justin. Good pass. Uh-oh, did he step on the line? Millar, yeah, he did. And I said the Cowboys would show up, and they have. The hats are on. The boys are yelling. The rodeo team, the uh, baseball team, and the uh, basketball girls down there as well. So quite the uh, student section for Dawson. With it out top, Bader, good defense on him by O'Brien. Pass over to Davis, Isaiah, he spins all the way underneath. Block shot, Ronnie Ogukwe. Ronnie, here's Chamberlain in the backcourt, he's gonna need some help. Bullets one over, Levi O'Brien shakes the defender. Uh-uh, couldn't get the shot. But good play for Levi O'Brien. Just under nine minutes to go here. Eight, 28, 13 to the score. Looks like Jordan Jasper comes in. Out goes O'Brien. Well, didn't get a, a dino dog. Can we thank friends Makoshka for sponsoring tonight and doing the giveaways. Underneath play, shot up and in. <laughs> Emiragi. And we're at 8.40 now. 28-15. Justin's had a good first half. Justin Azzi trying to screen on Chamberlain. Oh, Chamberlain, bad pass. Tried to work it across. Justin gets back as uh, he tips it back. And Bader picks it up, puts it in. It's 28-17. Ty Buckman, oh, he's cleanly stolen. Proctor. Picked his pocket. And Justin, ooh, screen on ball. Up court. Ball loose. It's Bader on the other end. Justin block. And one. And the uh, free throw pending here. Foul on uh, Ozzy is first. And to the line will be Garrett Bader. And again, one of the sophomores. Four sophomores for Coach Rice. We've got Bader Strand, Davis, and Anthony Bartizio. Bertusio. And uh, I haven't seen him yet. Mystery zone. And it's uh, within seven years. So he chipped away at the Mystics. Justin down low, good play. Goes from his left to his right, and it puts another one in. I think he might be looking at career high here for the Bucks backcourt. Ball taken. Sam Mazapoy goes up, shot miss, and Bismarck quickly on the other end stops. Strand to Davis. Davis goes in underneath rebound, put back. Emigrafi. And it's 30 23. Jasper, uh, uh, excuse me, that was Mazakoy. Here's Jordan. Jordan Jasper, screen on ball. Found a little room. Mazakoy, straight away. Three point play. Sam. Mazakoy nails one. That's his, what, fourth? Three on the season. 
It's back to a 10 point game. Ball Cato A. Jordan Jasper. No look pass over. Dunk. Ronnie Ogukwe takes his two hand and sends one down. 35 23. Six and a half to go, other end. Good pass underneath. And it's uh, Mystics on the uh, basket. And it's 35 25. Justin. Again, we got games on Sunday, two and four. And then Monday night, four games, six nights. I love it. Down low, Jordan Jasper. G5 puts it up, puts it in. Dawson was up by as many as 17. And then uh, now on the basket, back to a 12 point lead. Up court. Penetration stopped. Isaiah Davis, Justin's hands on it. Ball out of bounds. And it'll be Bismarck basketball. Timeout media, that's for us. We're back after the game day sponsor. From the bathroom to the boardroom, Boss offers a complete line of products to keep business running efficiently and cost effectively. Boss Office Products is excited to earn the right to be your single source choice for office supplies and furniture, cleaning supplies, commercial copiers, quick printing, promotional items, copier service, and more. In store, online, on site, by fax or Facebook. Excited to hear from you and looking forward to being the best possible partner we can be. Team Boss. Go Bucks from the Ranger Review. Congratulations on a super season. You know whenever and wherever the Buccaneers play, it will make headlines in the Ranger Review, Dawson County's official newspaper for well over 100 years. We're proud of our commitment to community and proud of our community's commitment to Dawson Community College. The Ranger Review, a Buccaneer sponsor. All right, we're back here listening to Sweet Caroline on the timeout. Dawson 37, Bismarck 25. Andrew Sherlockson bringing you the play-by-play -play. in my uh, final year. Yeah, I say that. We got some changes. Hopefully a full-time sports director on the way. Uh, Dawson on the uh, pass, steps on the out-of-bounds line. And it'll be Bismarck basketball. Yeah, if you're interested in the uh, possibility of uh, getting into sports casting, we've got some things in the works for next season. Come on in and talk with us. Down low, good post play, missed shot, rebound, two hands, Alexis Nika, and here comes Sam Mazakoy. We talk about his speed. Game in, game out. Sam has it. O'Brien pops one. There you go, mom and dad. Three quarter. Up and in. Levi nails it. Five minutes to go. 40 25. Dawson with the lead. Garrett Bader with the basketball. Gets one over to the left side on a skip pass across the middle. Driving. Whistle. And I don't know who they're going to say. The foul is on. Looks like we've got Cooper Lanning checking in. The foul is on Justin Azzi. And to the line for the Mystics is Bozeman. Got the uh, free throw. That means he gets another one. <laughs> and 40 26 are a score now. And I might be uh, wrong. I don't know if uh, Seth Amonro did play. I don't think he did. I said he may have played for a few minutes there. But ball loose, taken away. Here comes the Mystics. Let me look over there and see if I can see him. Up top of it is Isaiah Davis on the uh, drive-in. Ball is loose, picked up, block shot, Nika, Alexis. Now the ball is loose, run down by Ronnie. 
Two on one, down low shot. No, but picked it up, put it in. Shot there for Lanning. And his teammate put it back and in. And it's now 42-36. 3.53 to go in half number one. We may be done by 9 o'clock tonight. That'd be great. Ball taken away. Bucks defense turns it into transition. Basket other side. Again, no whistle. The referee letting them play. Bismarck wanted to travel. Dawson wanted the foul. Right wing three-pointer on the way. Davis, no. And they're letting them play. Ball is loose. And Dawson's going to... Hang on to it, Buckman. Buckman over to Nika there. Finally, the whistle blows. Well, one way of letting the clock continue to tick is not blow the whistle. 3.16 to go. Foul was on who? Number three, Proctor. Malor and uh, Justin comes in. And Jordan Jasper. Dawson again was up by as many as 17. It's 42 26. Rich says three Australians at the same time on the floor. Miss shot. Justin picks it up, puts it in. Offensive putback for Justin Ozzy. And I got him with 16 now. Uh oh, up court. That's going to be a basket up and in by the Mystics, the big guy. And it's 44-28 now. Justin looks to a dribble, pass over to Millar. Kerr goes up with a three-pointer, shot no good. Underneath, fight for the rebound. Bismarck takes it away. Isaiah Davis to Raymond Brown at the post. Turnaround shot, no and Dawson will uh, send it to the outlet. Here comes Buckman. Buckman, pass over Justin. Thought about the three, did uh, the uh, Bucks there. Now around, Justin's got it. 2.12 to go, pull back shot, three pointer, no good. That was Lanning that was uh, looking at the three. And we're winding down two minutes to go here in the uh, first half. 44-28. Andrew Surlison bringing it to you from the Tempe Center. Down low, Raymond Brown, right side, three-pointer. Shot, no, in and out. Lanting on the rebound, up court, Millar. Boy, what? He was pushed. Ronnie Ogukwe checks in. Justin Ozzie will go out. And... The Bucks having their way with the Mystics. Again, the two played in Bismarck. Final score 97 89. Then a couple days later, the uh, Bucks uh, lose their first game on the season to Gillette, a non conference game 96 82. Corner on the uh, play is Bader, was up and in. That was on the right side, at the block. Jordan Jasper, minute 19, over to Cooper Lanning. O'Brien, no, that's not O'Brien, that was uh, down low. Cooper goes up with a shot, no, tip back, up and in for Ronnie. Minute to go, 46-30, down low. Will they foul them? No, they're going to just defend, make the uh, shot go from the outside. Three-pointer. That shot, no. In and out. And Dawson pushes it up. There's Buckman. Hits three-pointer. No good. Over the back. Ronnie in. He knew it. But good play there. Ronnie just on the wrong side. And that'll be the first on him. Not uh, a lot of jump balls or anything that really stops the clock. We've had nine DCC fouls, only two Bismarck fouls. 
And because of that, we've got uh, free throws. Bonus shot here for uh, Strand. Strand at the line. One of the referees over visiting with uh, Coach Joe. Joe's got his hand up. The other ref, you know, smiling. First three throw for Strand up and in. He'll get another. Same thing. That drops down as well. Nothing but net. And we're now 46-32. Jordan Jasper kicks it over. Cooper in the corner. 4-3. No good. Got the uh, students all on their feet right near him. Isaiah Davis stopped at the uh, free throw line. Bismarck's going to try to slow it down here. Over and back. Yes. As Brown arguing his case. As he thought he, he thought he maybe lost possession altogether. Which then would allow him. Good call. Cooper uh, helped the ref there. Smiled at the end of it. And we're down to the final 10 seconds. Jordan Jasper drives in up top. Buckman 4-3. No tip by Millar up and in. Now that's a good way to end the uh, first half. It's 48-32. How about that? We've got the band from the high school going to play some tunes. It's Bucks basketball. It's uh, been a good one. Dawson up at the half by 16. They were up by as many as 17. And then uh, Bismarck scored a few baskets, and Dawson brought it back on the tip into a 16-point lead. It's 48-32, timeout. Hello to our game day sponsor. Back in two. HKT Big Sky Motors shows up on game day. This is Rocky Erickson for HKT. I'm impressed with their commitment. They understand teamwork and suit up with a very impressive roster of their own. Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram. A commitment to excellence. Locally owned and operated in service to the Big Sky. HKT. Car sales, service, and exactly what you're looking for. Check out the wide selection of floral arrangements to make your next occasion memorable. Get well flowers, happy birthday bouquets, or any and every other special occasion. Dare to delight. Call the Flower Basket, 406-377-5615. Or stop by at 503 North Merrill Avenue, Suite 4 in Glendive. below call 811 before you dig this message brought to you by wbi energy transmission all right we're back here at the half 48 32 we'll take a look at some numbers here in just a second we got the uh, coaches coach weber uh, and coach stephanie meek up here in another night of basketball we love it don't we stephanie yes it was a great night good night and uh third win in a row yeah, for the, uh, for <laughs> that is a good feeling. So let's talk a little bit about the uh, game tonight. Uh, play for K. What an event that is. Yeah, the girls work really hard every year. I think for five years running, DCC has been a big part of it, and they've been recognized as the top junior college to raise the most funds. So we're hoping we can keep that rolling tonight. 
Any idea how many uh, drawings there were tonight? Oh, off our raffles that we sold throughout the crowd for a dollar a piece, we probably had 30 different items in there, and then we have about 15 or 17, something like that, silent auction items as well. And all that donated by our, our community. Our generous community, yes. So let's talk about the game tonight. Uh, you know, I thought Steve played pretty well. Yeah. Good passing into Peterson again, and yeah. you know, she owns that paint. Yes. Uh, Mo is just always steps up for us. She's such a leader. She's really working hard on perfecting her game, and she is definitely a force to be reckoned with. Paint. Well, with the win, we got the United Tribe Sunday. Yes. What do we know about them? Uh, we really enjoy playing with tribes. They play a little similar to us. They like to go fast. So we match up really well with them. But we also have Mackenzie Peterson in the paint that they really have trouble with. So we're going to rely on her to kind of lead us through. And have you been working? I, I would say you have been just by watching about feeding the post. Yes. Right? Yeah. A couple times, you know, maybe trying to force it too much yeah. at times. But... Yeah. Hey, it's been working pretty well. Yeah, we need to work on those angles a little bit, not force it to her a little, but it's it worked out well. And for everybody us adding to the, the, the game. I mean, Elena Woods played with grit tonight. Yeah, she was so close to a double double. Yeah, she was. Uh, Kylie was really close to a double double. We're sharing the ball really well. We're working on getting um, assists. I think we were like 66% of our shots were came off assists, so that's a number that we're really working on sharing the ball. I know we talked earlier this season about looking for the right shot. And, right. and with the assist numbers that you've had, I would say that's uh, paid off. Right, yeah. Patience We're trying to wins. take that extra pass to get a pass up the good shot for the really great shot. And the defense, uh, the press has been working pretty well. Yeah, the girls really did good on that. We got a few picks and turned it into some layups. That was nice tonight. So we got United Tribes Sunday. Uh, and that, that should be a good game. And then uh, get ready for science. Yes, our tough one on Monday night. Yeah. And that should be a good game with the men as well. That might decide the Mondag for yeah, the men's game. Yeah, it's a big game for the men. Um, this whole little stretch is great for the women, too. We're really trying to get that. We're sitting pretty nice, so we keep rolling. We'll be sitting where we want to be. And postseason is determined by who wins the conference. Yes. And then what is it, three play five, four play six? Or? Yeah, something wonky like that, yeah. So is there a chance? I mean, you know, yeah. we... We're hoping to have a game right on our floor because there is nothing like a postseason game at DCC. And we got the band here tonight from the high school. That brings back memories. Yes, the best band in the Eastern A. I don't know, Sydney's pretty good. I, I, I have to give it to them I, now. I haven't been to one of those in a few years, but I would bet they probably are. Well, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for the dino dog. Yes. Or the just hot dog. It's a dino dog from Friends of Akoshika. And uh, did you get to watch the race? Who won that? I missed out on the race. Well, thanks for coming by. Thanks for bringing Coach over. Anytime. Now I can't give him a hard time about not meeting him. No. Have a great night, nice. Andrew. Nice. Thank you. All right. That was uh, Coach Stephanie B. And uh, we appreciate Nice to meet you, Coach. He's a little bit uh, shy on the radio, but uh, he did come up and uh, say hello. I, I like that. It's hard not to get to know the uh, leader. But uh, again, we are at the halftime. Let's take a look at some numbers. It was Justin as the, you know, 18 points in the first half. And, uh, you know, he even had a couple of threes, shot the ball well. Uh, he like, you know, I talked about Mackenzie Peterson owning the paint. Justin, boy, he even, uh, he even does it himself sometimes getting into that paint. He shot eight and nine, two at three outside. And I think he had a couple of steals even. So 18, he leads all scoring. Ronnie with 10 for the uh, Bucks. Ty Buckman made one of the six threes. He's got uh, the, the three points. Levi O'Brien, he too added a uh, three-pointer. And then Jordan Jasper with two. Sam Mazakoy with five. Uh, it was seven for uh, Kerr Millar as a team. 21 of 40, 52%. 6 of 14 outside, 
And that's the uh, not a free throw shot by Dawson in half one. Bismarck, the leading scorer, was uh, Almarazzi with 14. Garrett Bader, the post guard, the, uh, the, uh, four, the uh, guard, excuse me, Garrett Bader with 10. Alex Proctor added two. Kenneth Bozeman with four. Strand with two. 13 of 31, shooting 41%. 1 and 9, 11%, and free throws 5 of 9 for just about 56%. Let's look at some of the other numbers. Uh, rebounding, Dawson gets the uh, first half 22 to 16. Dawson had 12 assists. Bismarck with 5. 11 steals for Dawson, 6 for Bismarck. And Dawson with four blocks, as did Bismarck in half number one. Points in the paint, Dawson 26, Bismarck 20. Points off turnover, Dawson 12, Bismarck 10. Second chance points, Dawson 8, Bismarck 2. Bench points, Bismarck 16, Dawson 12. We have not had a lead or a tie in half one. Largest lead in the game, Dawson by 18. Right now it's a 16-point lead as we're at the halftime. Again, 48-32. And that's the uh, scoring for the individual and the team totals. So again, what a fun night of basketball. The student section is showing up. I call them the Buccaneer Crazies. We got, we've got one of the best fans in the state. The DCHS Pep Band here to play for the college tonight. So that's kind of cool. Again, friends of Makoshka night. We thank them for sponsoring tonight, bringing uh, the word and the know of what's happening in Montana's largest park to the uh, uh, fans tonight and what a what a treasure out our back door Makoshka State Park I can tell you I don't spend enough time up there I do get up there once in a while but the walking pass they got fulf up there just a lot of things at the uh, park that maybe let's make a new year resolution you and me both to uh, spend some time and Enjoy the outdoors, and boy, have we had the enjoyable weather here the yeah, past week. Snow gone, and we're at uh, 50 plus degrees. At the end of January, you don't see that often. But I will put a prayer out there that we get some moisture crop, or it's gonna be a uh, tough time ahead. We can use some moisture, rain, or more snow, and uh, then we'll get ready for spring sports. Enjoyed the interview this morning as Dino Day did with the uh, softball team. A couple of players were in the studio along with Coach uh, Huff, and they got their fundraiser happening for their. Arizona, no, my not trip, I think he said. Uh, Coach Joe had said last game. But the uh, softball team, nine days away from play there. And we're just uh, about uh, two months, a little less than two months, if the weather allows for some Bucks baseball and softball here in Glendive. Looking forward to that. I don't think uh, quite ready as far as the uh, umpiring goes, but uh, yeah, it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, we'll be back doing some of those games. And uh, of course, we do some of the uh, baseball softball on the air. Paul Sirlock does the uh, does the games for those over on Z96. It's 48-32 halftime. The teams are back on the floor again, leading the way for Bucks. Justin Asley with 18, and uh, 
right behind him, Ronnie Oguquin with 10. So friends of a coach tonight don't have the uh, totals. I don't think they'll know for uh, a little while yet on the, uh, the amount raised. But I can tell you, it's always fun to have play for canines. Uh, not quite the uh, decorative atmosphere this year, but another uh, event done right here at the uh, college. Well, we'll see if we can get an update. Uh, if you could, Andrew, back in the studio, let me know how the uh, Red Devil Boys game is going. We'll uh, pass that on to the uh, listeners on this. Again, Red Devil Boys in Sydney. I believe the Red Devil girls go down in defeat earlier. We'll get those scores and uh, pass that on here in just a minute. Make plans now. We got game Sunday, two and four, United Tribes. And uh, those should be good games, as should Monday night. But how about those Lady Bucks? It's been kind of an up and then down and stay down. I think they lost eight, nine in a row there. And then, uh, you know, here uh, in uh, the last couple of weeks three big wins again these two played uh, earlier this season Dawson wins final in that game 97 89 a year ago Dawson wins three of the four games got beat in Bismarck 77 66 in the uh, year before that Dawson wins all three games in fact, one of those games, you know, Dawson wins by 56 points. The final in one game two years ago, a game I did the call on, it was a 113-57 game. Dawson wins by 56. Here we go, second half underway. Dawson starts with possession. It's Ty Buckman. Pass over, Levi O'Brien, and his folks are here. O'Brien shot off the uh, rim from behind the arc, and here comes Bismarck. Let me get the uh, program here. Was that Proctor? All the way to the hole, kicks it over. Barrett leading a uh, three-pointer at the top, up and in, Raymond Brown. So Mystics. Put fire on first here, 48-35. It seemed like it was all Dawson. It, it kind of was, but uh, this game is not without, uh, you know, without uh, without reach here for the Mystics. Jordan Jaffer drives baseline, double on him. Bachman for three, top of the key. Oh no, shot in and out, used every part of the rim. Ball out of bounds, it'll be Bismarck basketball. Of course, all colleges in the uh, state of North Dakota, state ran with the uh, conference team, of course. Down low, shot, miss. Levi O'Brien, ooh, too hard. Buckman lost it, and Bismarck keeps possession. Proctor, Alex Proctor. To the corner, Davis drives in, shot no. And Dawson's gonna push it up, center court. Here comes Buckman. O'Brien's got it, left side. We're working on the right side of the floor. Jordan, Jasper. His attempt from downtown, right side, no good. And Dawson missed their first couple here in half, number two. 48-35, eight, 12 to go in the ball game. Ball goes loose, good defense, Dawson. Like uh, no look pass, back and in, Ronnie Ogukwe. Good teamwork, and it's 50-35. Try to get you that score update. Halftime in the uh, boys game, 24-19. So the Red Devil boys in action over on Z96. Boy, that'd be awesome if we beat them off the air tonight. Nish shot, Dawson on the rebound. 
They're going to wait. Now Justin, he goes all the way in. Backs it. Boy, he spins. He knows how to do it. Nice try. Ball out of bounds. He's got some good underneath tricks in his hat. Does Justin. He's a hard, hard one to defend. You don't know which way he's going to go. And here comes Bismarck, Peter, Garrett. Garrett spins underneath, pass over, up with the shot. Is that Davis? Oh, yeah, it might have been. Underneath, Bismarck player falls over. Ball is tipped. Justin, rebound, all the way up to Buckman, who goes off a mystic to save it. And the possession will stay with the uh, Buccaneers. Glad to have you along on the uh, Bucks broadcast. O'Brien wants another three. Shot no good. Rebound Justin. Justin bounces one across the key. Beautiful play. And to the line goes Ronnie Ogukwe. Well, I did get me a dino dog here. Take a bite of that here as uh, Ronnie gets ready for the free throw. No, Andrew, you don't get one. Just me. Second. Second free throw is coming here. The first one is up and in. Pretty good, I got to tell you. Dino Dog thinks the friends of a coach guy. We'll see how many they serve tonight. So it's been a good crowd here. 51-35. Alex Proctor up top. Pass over. This is Raymond Brown. Bozeman. Three pointer now. Davis. Isaiah shot no good to the outlet. Dawson's going to push it up. Going all the way down the lane. Memory trip. No good. And now on the other side. Bader. Oh, is he blocked? No. Up court. Here comes Dawson. Justin. To the hole. Oh no, missed the uh, lay in there. And Bismarck, Peter, other side, ball moving quick. Shot underneath, missed. And uh, now here comes Dawson. Let's slow it down. Boy, it's hard to keep up sometimes. These guys can move it. Up top, Buckman. He goes all the way in. Pops one right below the rim, up and in. Ty Buckman. And it's now 53-35. We'll keep you updated on that uh, high school game as we go here. Underneath, down low, up, in. That's Davis. So on the other side, that quick, up with the shot is Justin. Oh, he missed another one and goes up again. Well, it's 8-14. We're in the second half. This thing may be over by nine o'clock. We were eight, nine minutes in before the 7.30 set time. Justin at the line, Justin Ozzy. Shot no. Yeah, Justin, Justin with 18 first half points. He had field goals, he had three pointers. It was Pretty much all him in that first three, four minutes for the Bucks. Second free throw, no good. Missed them both. Now he goes to trap. He's got those long arms. He's hard to get around. Isaiah, or Raymond Brown gets it up. Ball taken away. Jump in the uh, lane there. Pass over Justin up in the shot. Give the assist to Jordan Jasper. 55-37. Boy, Rich Rowe, he does a great job firing up the uh, fans here. Raymond Brown, he goes all the way down, kicks it over. Is that Davis? Davis found some room, put it up, put it in. Good underneath play by Jordan, or Isaiah Davis. Sam Mazakoy comes blasting down as he tries to find some room. He goes up, little scooper, no good. Rebound, Jordan Jasper. Put it up, put it in. Got a uh, timeout. 
And I'm not sure exactly why, but the uh, sub should be allowed. Yes. Yeah, Jordan Ozzie goes out. Alexis Nika will come in. We're about five, a little over five and a half in to half number two. Andrew, time for your uh, stretch and jumping jack. Shake the defender, Bader, step back, three. That was right in front of head coach Rice on the right elbow. Sam Mazakoy. Good defense on him. That's Brown. Far corner, Jordan Jasper. Ah, he steps on the line. Referee right there. Well, I think we're going to have a timeout. I'm going to have a little dino dog here. Thanks, Coach Meek, for bringing that up along with some popcorn. Time for a break. Time for a dino dog. We're back in uh, one minute. Bob's Body Shop is in the business of taking a bad situation and making it better. So when you find yourself in a fender bender or you're in need of full-on collision repair, go to the place that does it better than everyone. That is Bob's Body Shop. And just a friendly reminder, don't let those rock chips go untreated. Get them fixed before they turn into complete windshield replacements. Bob's Body Shop, they've seen it all, so they know how to fix it all. Call them today for a free estimate at 406-365-2621. Bob's Body Shop, the best at what they do, and it shows. Why, Team Boss, we really do appreciate your business. We know you have other choices, but we are very thankful for your patronage. Boss Office Products offers nationally competitive pricing, free to-the-spot delivery, hassle-free return policy with free pickup. As the largest local office and equipment supplier in the Mondac, call 1-800-ABC-BOSS. We're on the web at abcboss.com, Facebook, Messenger, and on-site sales reps. Team Boss. Two-point game in the uh, Red Devils, working towards the end of the third. I think it's 29-27. Again, three minutes to go in the third. Again, we'll keep you updated. Down low in the uh, block, Davis. Yeah, looks like a uh, reach hold, they say. Again, the Lady Bucks, they went white uniforms two days in a row. The uh, Manuel. They're in their gray uniforms, grayish uniform. Good move in there, Bader works it back towards the middle. Strand for a three. His shot off the back of the rim. Ah, underneath rebound. Bismarck's gonna keep it alive. Bouncing it around is Davis. Ball out of bounds on the rebound and it'll stay with Bismarck. Another fun night here at the uh, Tepke. Friends of Makoshka. 57-42, 13-11 to go in the ball game. Bader, catch, shot, three-pointer. Back of the rim, ball goes loose. I see Kendall just checked in. He's got three or four fouls, so he'll have to be careful. Ball out of bounds, bad pass. Ends into the student section, and it'll be Bismarck, turnover, Buccaneer, basketball. Well, enjoyed the uh, quick visit with Coach Stephanie Me. Thanks to uh, Coach Weber for coming up, visiting with us. Millar for three, left, left side, no good. And all the way up court, Isaiah Davis puts one underneath in the end. 57-44. Hope Dawson doesn't sit in on too much comfort here. It's still anyone's game. They've owned it. Jordan Jasper. Coach Joe Off yelling. Trying to work the uh, play here. Nice back or pass. Mazakoy lost it. Ball out on the run. Here comes Davis. And backwards falling, and he'll be the one with the foul is on Millar. We got a uh, timeout on the floor, timeout on the radio, back in 30. 
Diesel Joe and Jesse and the boys sounds like a Western movie, but in fact, they are the maintenance, performance, and repair experts at ProTech Diesel in Glendive. 25 years locally owned and operated business with pickup and delivery service available throughout the Mondan. ProTech Diesel does it all from the personal truck to fleet repairs. Call the experts Diesel Joe and Jesse and the boys at ProTech Diesel 406 365 2100. Thank you to our game day sponsors. We appreciate the uh, support for DCC Buccaneer Basketball. And we got more room available, so if you want to be part of Bucks Basketball and uh, sponsor them in other ways, with that being the scoreboard or other different things, you can uh, certainly jump on the uh, radio broadcast. Very affordable. Those big sponsorships, those are appreciated as well by the college, I'm sure. Strand has it, double team on ball. Sam Mazakoy jumps the pass. Up court, Millard to the hole. Ooh. A whistle as they got the uh, foul. Good call. Boy, that referee had to do some running to, to even see that one. Millard at the line, foul on uh, Gavin Strand. I do see Seth Amonrude back to him for just a second. He's sitting right next to the uh, assistant coach. Millar at the line, free throw is not. He really got it. Uh, Seth has not played, I can tell you that. He's, he might be in uniform, I don't know. He's got the uh, warm-ups on, if anything, both pants and top. See what happens here. Second free throw is no good. Rebound. And here comes Bismarck. 11.52 to go here in the uh, ball game. Good hands. Nika and Kendall. The ball is loose. Dimitri. <laughs> oh, wow. That was cool. Buckman. Pass over. O'Brien says one more. Mom and Dad. No. Missed that one. Again, Levi's folks are here is what I'm told, 58-44. 11 and a half to go here in second half action. 38-33, Red Devils, end of third. Strand has it. A little bit of press on ball now, drive it in. Fadeaway shot, no good, rebound, Nika. Nika quickly gives out, now two hands it up, Buckman to Millar. Curtis stops, gives the Nika. Buccaneers call out the play. O'Brien left-handed dribble. Now he pulls one up. He wants another one. He's been working on it. Uh, as they lose, breakdown in communication. Bad pass all the way to the hole. Whistle. And it uh, should be on the baseline. I like Coach Meeks' husband's shirt. It says... Dibs on Lady Coach. Ah, they're good people. Stephanie and her husband. Been coming to games a long time. Always up for a conversation. As they give it in, Dawson takes it away. Justin, two hands over. Buckman, three-pointer on the way. Shot, no. Right there, Justin picks it up. Oh, no, he's missed three or four of them underneath. Another one. And uh, Mystics, other side, three-pointer in. Rattles the rim, up and in for Strand on the uh, right wing. It's 58-47. Halfway through here, half number two. Not a lot of uh, room yet for Dawson. O'Brien to the hole, put it up, put it in. So the offense has been pretty quiet here, but they get the basket there. Gotta tell you, that popcorn's pretty good too. Had me a handful of that in between breaks. Up court, Brown. Brown kicks over. Bader finds a teammate out top. That's Strand. Strand to the rack, up and in. Take it to the rim and it can do you good. 60 49. Again, Dawson was up by as many as 18. Right now, it's 11. Buckman skips one across, 
Three-pointer on the way. And we got what, a foul? And in to shoot the threes on the uh, Kale Chamberlain. That Red Devil game, that's going to be a close one, folks. 38-38. About uh, five, six minutes ago left in that game. Somebody's out doing a little housekeeping here. One of, uh, he's one of the uh, fans here, I think. I don't think he's got anything to do with the college. But boy, is he a uh, fun one to uh, watch. He gets into these games. First free throw by... Kale Chamberlain, no good. Two more to go here. It was a hack in the act of a three-pointer. Second one, no good. Kale doesn't quite get the minutes the rest of them do, but uh, did get some minutes uh, yesterday, as did uh, the other... Uh, I think his name off the of Cooper Lanning. They so got the last one, 61 49. Up court, here comes Proctor, not for long ball, taking away Jordan Jasper with the steal and the lay. He tried to lay it up but missed it. And Jordan Jasper will go to the line. Well, last night I gave a whole bunch of shout outs. It's about everything, even my sister's cat and dog. So tonight I better give shout outs to the cats at our house. Hunter and Cookie and Streaker. There you go, Mom. Free throw one for, uh, it's called Phil. You fill in between play 62-49. Jordan Jasper got the first. Here's the second one. And if anybody knows Andrew Denny, he does not do jumping jacks, nor do I. 63-49, all the way up court. Again, ball taken away, good hand. Ty Buckman, Buckman passes one over Jordan Jasper. Contact made, basket good. And Dawson back to a 65-49 lead. Up court, here comes Bader. Bader gives it over to his big guy at the post. Now Bader catches it on the right side. Shot no good. Rebound. Chamberlain. Kale of court. Finds Jordan. Oh no. Did he step on the line? Those are not things. That's court awareness. I think Coach Joe wants to uh, visit. It's a short. We'll keep it right here. Let's talk about the uh, Red Devils. I think they're in a tie again. About six minutes to go, 40-40. So we should see a, a fun one at the end of that. They got six minutes to go, 8.35 to go in this game. Again, if you're just joining us, the Lady Bucks get the uh, win. The uh, Lady Bucks get the win earlier tonight. Let's see, I think the final on that one. Well, I have to find it. But the uh, Lady Bucks get Bismarck final 71-54. Pretty good second, third quarter. Not much for fourth quarter action. Dawson only scored nine, but Bismarck only scored five, so that all worked out. Backcourt defense by Dawson. Again, ooh. Falling over. That, that looked like it hurt Proctor up court to Ronnie. Ronnie goes in. Missed it. Goes up again. Stays with it. And they say DCC basketball. Boy, oh boy. Lots of missed shots underneath last night. And uh, that could be said again tonight. Ty Buckman will inbound. Ooh, five seconds. It was getting close. Probably the right call. And, uh, well, it was the right call. 
The referee called it. Bozeman gives in. Now he gets it back. Kicks it to, is that Strand? All the way up court. Ronnie knocks it out of bounds. And uh, Bismarck will inbound. BSC against DCC. The Bucks looking to sweep two nights in a row here. You get ready for United Tribes. Inbound, Bader has it. At the uh, top, working it around now is Strand. Strand working Chamberlain. Good defense by Kale. Step back three. Ooh, Strand gets another one. And Coach Joe wants to go. It's, it's not slow the pace here. 65. Buckman to the hole. Chamberlain right side. Three-pointer. No good. And uh, back to the other end. Bader drives in. Stops. Pass out. Three ball on the way. Shot no good. Rebound Justin. As he, as he comes up to Ronnie. Ronnie spins. He's right underneath the hoop. Up and in. Literally underneath. Lots of scoring underneath. Lots of missed baskets as well, though. It's 67-52. Over on the other side is Bader. Block shot, Dawson. Strand picks it up, block shot was play, plenty nice. Up court, here comes one-handed pass to Buckman from Ronnie up and in. Not Buckman, that was Jordan Jasper. And it's 69-52. Up court, laying up and in for Raymond Brown. And it's uh, 69-54. Ty Buckman on the dribble, spins, pass over to Justin. Justin travel, no call, put it up, put it in. 71-54 now, 6-21. More Bucks basketball Sunday and Monday. Bader drives in. Das looking to uh, pay back. To, oh man, how many? He was in the key for about a half a minute there. They missed that three seconds. Chamberlain to Ozzy. Justin lost it, stayed with it. And Bismarck, two hands it up. Down low, Bader, and a whistle from the side referee calls the uh, block. Slap, as they say. Time out on the media scene. It's Bucks basketball. And a stop for these game day radio sponsors. The Yellowstone River Inn is happy to help bring you this sports broadcast. Yellowstone River is proud to serve the public 24 hours a day. Enjoy the YRI's great hospitality with the hotel, lounge, and casino. Whether you're looking for a great lunch or dinner, hosting a gathering, rising early to catch breakfast, or looking for a good time, make YRI the spot to be. Come see us at 1903 North Merrill Avenue or give us a call at 377-4433. It's time to reload, repair, and improve at Fisher Sand Gravel and Ready Mix. Please note the concrete batch plant will be closed from February 5th through February 19th for maintenance and plant improvements. Any questions, call 687-3383. Fisher Sand Gravel and Ready Mix concrete batch plant reloading, repairing, and improving operations. Closed February 5th through February 19th. 6873383 thank you well the uh, Sydney Eagles on top of the Red Devils fourth quarter action uh 4340 about four and a half to go in that game free throw one miss by uh, Raymond Brown again you don't want to miss and they they've shot the free throws real well both teams. The uh, second free throw is in. And uh, here comes Dawson. Can't miss free throws against a team like Dawson. Mazagoy pass over to Millar. Kale, uh oh, he lost it. Ball taken away on the run. Here comes Bozeman to the hole. And 
and it'll be on Sam Mazakoy. And to the line will go Bozeman. Bozeman. Kenneth Bozeman, one of the freshmen from Dayton, Ohio. It's on my bucket list. I'd like to go to Dayton someday. Ooh, free throw, not enough uh, power to it. Shot short. So you'll get another one. Will Mr. Bozeman. Second free throw is up and in. That one might be in for a good finish. 71-56. Millar three-pointer. Millar beats one. He was due. Good to see that. 74-56 at center court. Uh, there's Isaiah Davis down low. Missed shot. Rebound Millar. And here comes Dawson. Demetria Kindle, who we lost the uh, handle on it. And uh, Brown takes it back for the Mystics. Yeah, the Mystics in a grayish uniform, a yellow and green stripe, top and bottom. Three pointer on the way, Strand. Boy, you got to get up on him. And Martin Orr comes in. First time we've seen him. Tonight, Demetria Kindle, Alexis Nika, a rainbow three, no good on the left wing. Now he gets the rebound, puts it up, drops one down, and that's an offensive foul. At least that's the whistle. I'm not sure they got that one. I'm not sure uh, that's the right call, but they missed it, and that life goes on. 74-59, Red Devils now tied at 43. A little over, uh, a little under three minutes now in that. Got a uh, reach-in foul on Mazakoy. And we're in bonus now, seven fouls. That's now second. Dawson. By 15, 74 59. They were up by as many as 18, I believe. The uh, one on one bonus, now two shots. Brown puts the first down. Takes time. A couple of bounces, bends his knee. Second one hits the back of the rim. On the rebound, it uh, goes off Dawson. And we're going to have a timeout on the floor, timeout on the radio. Back here in one minute. Hometown confidence, hometown buying power. American Ford is your hometown car and truck center. Now with 20 plus years taking care of Glendive and surrounding area, car and truck buyers. At American Ford, the mission is to be the automotive home of drivers across the Mondac area. Exceptional car care and customer service with a smile. We believe American Ford. Call 406-345-3673. Are you a hands-on learner looking for new opportunities? Dawson Community College's career and technical programs like welding, corrosion technology, and criminal justice offer hands-on instruction in state-of-the-art facilities from instructors with decades of experience in their fields. The team at Dawson is excited to speak with you about how one of our career and technical programs can help you build the future you want. For more information, visit dawson.edu. Well, the uh, ball went out of bounds off Dawson. So it'll be an inbound underneath Bismarck's hoop here on the baseline. Again, Dawson by 14, 4.16 to go. Inbound. That's Davis down low, shot up and in. He moved, made his move. Worked that time. And the Mystics down to a 12 point game. Demetria Kindle, pass over to Millar. Nika for three. Mary, the three. And on the inbound, he stepped over the line, came back. The referee saw it and said, hey, you can't do that turnover. And that being Isaiah Davis, he wasn't too happy, but they got it. Nika says one more three. 
walks over to the other side, missed it. And on the rebound, uh, be a DCC foul, and we're in bonus, as I just said. That's the A foul, so it's still in the one and one variety. 77 62, 351 to go in the game. Let's see who the shooter is. This might be. Uh, well, let me look here when he turns. Takes a couple of dribbles here. Bonus one. Shot no good. Yeah, I thought that was somebody. That, yeah, Kurzman. Connor Kurzman. First time I called his name. Up top, Nika. Nika pass over to Orr. Martin Orr is getting a few minutes here. Underneath the hoop. No good. Rebound. That ball is loose. Scrum. Off. A buck. Bismarck basketball. Dawson continues on the uh, full court. Cooper Lanning back in. Demetria Kindle. So Coach Joe gone deep in the bench. Everybody that uh, came to play played. I don't think even uh, Seth Amonroo, one of our leaders, all the way down. Basket good. The blocking foul, the two referees looked at each other and uh, made the call. Sam Mazakoy. Again, I see Seth Amonroo down there. He's got his pants and top on, so I don't even think he could play. He's not in uniform. But boy, is he fun to watch. Get ready, Seth. Back in action on uh, Sunday, I'm sure. The and one is down, so he gets it. And all of a sudden, we're down to a 12 point game. 3.16 to go. All the way up. Here comes Sam. He's double teamed. Finds Kerr Millar. Back to Sam. A couple of dribbles. Uh oh, Cooper Lanning. Lost the uh, handle on it. And Bismarck, who he may have missed that one, Strand. Strand kicks over. Isaiah Davis. Nothing happening underneath. Pull up shot, right side, no good. Rebound Millar. Kerr Millar. The uh, lengthy ball player. Now he drives baseline. He goes up with a shot, looking for the foul. Ah, no whistle. On the other side, step over, shot on the way, no good. We got some pushing, they didn't whistle that one. <laughs> As uh, Lanning, Cooper, he falls over. And there's a foul. As Cooper is on his back. So we just got a push, that's gonna be a technical. Number 10, I saw it, Scran just pushed over Mazakoy. And this is getting to be a little bit sloppy here. And as Cooper Lanning laying on his back. And we're gonna have uh, the students making some noise. The uh, referees, of course, will visit on the uh, assess technical. It was an easy one to spot. They uh, were right there. So they'll indicate the uh, foul. And then they'll leave the, uh, the uh, foul is on Brown. And then the uh, technical foul is on S Strand, you know, very clear. So we'll have the uh, technical shots. We're going to let Orr shoot the uh, technical. And then the... Uh, Bonus shot should be shot by Lanning. So Martin Orr at the line for Dawson. Baseball. I think that might be the first point for Martin Orr, at least here on the uh, home floor. Second one is in as well. <laughs> He's sure getting a few uh, hoorays. Rich said, welcome to the party. The uh, foul should be a technical. Well, you know. So they got the uh, technical. Now they get the possession. But 
It's a bonus, so why, why didn't they get the uh, shot there? I'm not sure they got the possession. But or, as I was going to say, uh, Rich said, welcome to the party. So, a lot of fun here, Dawson, with two minutes. Mazakoy to the hole, put it up. Oh. <laughs> Sam Mazakoy. So they got a little chippy there for a few minutes. And another timeout. Let's see on the, uh, the length here. Timeout on the floor. We'll be back in 30. For the best and freshest flowers in Glendive, the flower basket has exactly what you're looking for. Check out the wide selection of floral arrangements to make your next occasion memorable. Get well flowers, happy birthday bouquets, or any and every other special occasion. Dare to delight. Call the flower basket, 406-377-5615. Or stop by at 503 North Merrill Avenue, Suite 4 in Glendive. Well, they're up doing the uh, baseball dance here. And I guess I should say the uh, baseball team probably should stay with the uh, game of baseball. <laughs> There's five of them up there dancing now. Yeah, they're having a good time. The uh, Buccaneers, 81. Bismarck, 65. That was a pretty good move. Still doing the uh, two steps to the left, whatever that is. 81-65, Bismarck will uh, go away with the uh, Buccaneers sweep tonight. Minute 49 to go here in the ball game. In the backcourt, Maki, first time we called him. We got a reach in. That was on Millar, his second. I don't know. Eh. And to the line, Taylor back here. One of the freshmen from Hazen, North Dakota. Again, a lot of the uh, Mystics in state players. I think he got the first. I had to look away, but I think the uh, first was made. Second one is in. And here come the uh, Bucks. Close game over on Z96. You could probably tune into that and catch the uh, call from Coriel. That one pending overtime here. It looks like he made a three-pointer. Martin Moore. The uh, students are on their feet. He had a couple of free throws that got him energized. And now Martin Orr buries the three. Up court, runner, no, rebound, or Martin, two hands it to Sam. The Cooper Lanning was open there for a minute. Didn't get the uh, shot look there, but now he does. Cooper Lanning in the corner, shot no. And a runner a minute to go here in the uh, game. And another foul. Means another set of free throws. We're in double bonus. 84-67. 48 seconds to go here in the uh, game. Back to the free throw line. Bismarck shot free throws well. And Raymond Brown, he's a player. The two teams have entertained here tonight. Second one for... Mr. Brown up and in. And we're now 84 69, 46 seconds. Starting to lose a few fans here. They're on their way. Probably to beat the traffic jam out, out uh, in the parking lot. In the corner, back to Cooper. Cooper drives baseline. He goes up. Oh, he falls over. <laughs> and uh, up with the uh, pass there, down low. Good play. Give credit due, and that's Isaiah Davis, I believe. I think that may be on or his third. So he's scored a three and a couple of free throws and three fouls. 
And at the line, Isaiah Davis. Sydney by two with just like 15 seconds. Miss free throw. Stay with us, we'll get you the final on that unless it expands into a whole bunch of time. 13 seconds. They're gonna let the air out here as uh, Alexis Nika moving around so he doesn't get the uh, whistle on him. Alexis will dribble this game to over. 84-71. They're waving the up banner as the Buccaneers get the win. 84-71. It's overtime over on Z96. I'll recap this right now by telling you the Bucks sweep. We'll take a look at some numbers, but we want to get ready to listen to that overtime over on Z96. Overtime in Sydney, Red Devils, Eagles, over on Z96, we're back in two. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar asks, Ever wonder what it would be like to live in an alternate universe? One where everything seems to work just the opposite of the way you'd expect? Well, friends, welcome to the alternate universe of Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. The taste is nothing less than outrageously delicious. And Mountain Dew Zero Sugar comes in awesomely exhilarating flavors like Original Dew Zero Sugar, Mountain Dew Spark Zero Sugar, and Mountain Dew Major Melon Zero Sugar. Try the incredible flavors of Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Zero Sugar, all do. Go Bucks from the Ranger Review. Congratulations on a super season. You know, whenever and wherever the Buccaneers play, it will make headlines in the Ranger Review, Dawson County's official newspaper for well over 100 years. We're proud of our commitment to community and proud of our community's commitment to Dawson Community College. The Ranger Review, a Buccaneer sponsor. The Yellowstone River Inn is happy to help bring you this sports broadcast. Yellowstone River is proud to serve the public 24 hours a day. Enjoy the YRI's great hospitality with their motel, lounge, and casino. Whether you're looking for a great lunch or dinner, hosting a gathering, rising early to catch breakfast, or looking for a good time, make YRI the spot to be. Come see us at 1903 North Merrill Avenue or give us a call at 377-4433. It's time to reload, repair, and improve at Fisher Sand Gravel and Ready Mix. Please note the concrete batch plant will be closed from February 5th through February 19th for maintenance and plant improvements. Any questions, call 687-3383. Fisher Sand Gravel and Ready Mix concrete batch plant reloading, repairing, and improving operations. Close February 5th through February 19th. 6873383 thank you all right i'm going to be out of here by nine o'clock red devils in overtime over on z96 here's the numbers justin Azzy, good game from the start of this one he had 22 he scored most of the uh first 15 20 points but uh, he had a good game 22 points for justin other scoring, we'll just give you a team, the uh, team individual numbers. Ty Buckman with five, Jordan Jasper with 10, Levi O'Brien with five, Ronnie had a nice game, he had 15, Sam Mazakoy with seven, uh, Kermalar with 11, a point for Chamberlain, three points for Nika, five points for Martin. Bismarck, it was Bader with 14, Isaiah Davis with 13, Proctor with 2, Brown with 13, check that, Brown with 8, Bozeman with 5, uh, Strand had a couple of 3s, 13, 14 for Alragi, and 2 for Batke. Dawson wins the uh, first half, 48-32. Bismarck actually outscores Dawson in the uh, second half, 39-36. Largest lead for Dawson, 18. There were no ties, no lead changes. Dawson from the uh, takeoff uh, win, 84-71. The uh, Lady Bucks 